Hi, this is Dr. Sampson Davis, and I'm here to talk to you today. You know me. You know me from my videos on YouTube. You know me from my books, maybe from television appearances on some of the major TV shows. But I'm here to share some of who I am. I'm on this crusade from my YouTube health and survival plan. I'm here to save lives. And it's important to me because I come from humble beginnings. I grew up inner city, poor, five siblings, single parent home, two pair of pants, you know, <laughs> that I wore, very poor, one for school and one for play. You know, often said uh, we grew up, me and my siblings, in a situation where we had heat in the summer and AC in the winter. Uh, had five siblings, as mentioned, and two brothers. We shared a bed, and it was cool in the winter time because we kept each other warm, but it was not so cool when one of us peed the bed. <laughs> so, you know, this, this, these are my roots. This is where I came from, and I'm proud of it. And from the beginning, I, I just knew education had a very vital part of, in my life, and it was going to take me places. I never imagined becoming a physician or becoming a beacon of hope or inspiration to others, but I started off only trying to do better in life, like we all, like you. We all are trying to do better in life. But here's the thing. I believe that it was possible. I believe that it took some sweat equity and it took some uh, energy and, and that it took some luck and some divine intervention. But with all that, it happened. And, and it wasn't easy for me. Absolutely not easy for me. The first in my family to go to college, the first in my family to go to medical school, the first in my family, about half the people in my, my, my immediate family didn't finish high school. So I just believed it was possible. And I believed that it was going to, education was going to allow me a platform to be able to better not only my life, but my family life and my community. And medical school was tough. I had many instances where I didn't know if I was coming or going, moments where I wanted to quit. But you can't measure the will in a person. I had professors who believed in me, instructors who thought I was doing great, and I had some instructors who said, you know, come here, Sam, let me talk to you. You might want to change your major. This isn't for you. Why? Why isn't it for me? So you have to, again, surround yourself with people who believe in you and those who don't, you have to lead them on the wayside. And, you know, we call those people who often spit venom at us and say negative things to us, we call them haters. <laughs> and so haters are going to hate, 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 hate. And so here I am now on this survival plan. And I've been able to author books uh, with Call the Pack, New York Times bestseller, We Beat the Street, The Bond. My latest book is on a health perspective, living and dying in Brick City, real emergency medicine stories that I've seen in the ER that I share with you that have all great storylines, but it also has a healthy message to it. You are inundated with so many different health tips and advice from so many people who are not real doctors, but they play one in your life. And so I'm here to streamline that process, make it easy so that you know where to go how best to access this resource of information for yourself. And that's what these videos here on YouTube is about. It's about me sharing a bit of myself in an up and close and personal way in your space, in your living room, saying that I am here to lend a hand. And that's it. It's as simple as that. I want you to be the best you as possible. I want you to be in charge of your health. Many of us would take the advice of a stranger or, or a friend over the advice of a doctor for many reasons sometimes. I mean, there's been a lot of things with the medical field that makes it untrustworthy. And there's a lot of cumbersome processes that come along. Well, who do I go see? Do I see a, all I know is I see an ologist. <laughs> I see either a cardiologist, a nephrologist, a dermatologist, a radiologist. Which doctor do I need to see? So I'm here to streamline that process and tell you the importance of all the things that you need to do to be around for a long time, not only for yourself, but for your loved ones, those who matter most in our life. And so take a look at these videos. Know that it's coming from a place that's genuine. I've decided that it is time for me to not sit in the emergency department and wait for you to come see me, but to step outside these walls and step into your living room and step into your offices and step into your car. Be a part of your everyday travels so that we can do this together. We can find ways to make sure that we are in charge of our life and that we are surviving. Not that only we're existing, but surviving, and more importantly, that we're living. 
check it out.